Al Azaria Bethany Ah Shalom guys, our video today, we are traveling from Jericho, the city of Palms, the oldest city of the world. And we are heading to Bethany, the hometown of Lazarus, Mary, and Malva. And we are going to be reading the book of John chapter 11 and chapter 12. Chapter 11 talks about the death and resurrection of Lazarus. And chapter 12, it talks about Jesus visiting Bethany and enjoying supper with Lazarus, Mary, and Martha, and his disciples, that Lazarus that he had raised from the dead. And this happened some days before, before Easter. Uh, it was about one week before his death. The following day after he ate the supper in uh, Bethany with his friends, that is when he entered Jerusalem, riding on a donkey, what we Christians uh, call it the Palm Sunday. So before the day before Palm Sunday, he had partaken supper as a guest at uh, Lazarus' uh, mother and Mary house. And I, I think they were celebrating it in the house of Simon, Simon, Simon the leper, Simon the leper, the Simon that was healed by Jesus of leprosy. <laughs> there is something like this, but anyway. So, because Judas is named in that uh, in that meal we see that Judas is being called uh, the son of Simon whom Jesus had healed of leprosy so Jesus okay now we read we are going to read John chapter 11 now a man now a man named La Lazarus was sick he was from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. This Mary, whose brother Lazarus now lay sick, was the same one, was the same one who poured perfume on the Lord and wiped his feet with her hair. Verse 2 is in blanket, meaning we are going to read about this story in chapter 12. Verse 3. So the sisters sent word to Jesus, Lord, the one you love is sick. When he heard this, Jesus said, This sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory so that God's son may be glorified through it. Now, Jesus loved mother and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that Lazarus was sick, he stayed where he was two more days. Wow, why? And then he said to his disciples, let us go back to Judea. 
But Rabbi, they said, a short while ago, the Jews there tried to stone you, and yet you are going there? And yet you are going back? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours of daylight? Anyone who walks in the daylight will not stumble, for they see by this world's light. It is when a person walks at night that they stumble, for they have no light. After he had said this, he went on to tell them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I'm going there to wake him up. His disciples replied, Lord, if he sleeps, he will get better. Jesus had been speaking of his death, but his disciples thought he meant natural sleep. So then he told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. You know, there are sometimes <laughs> you have just to say the way things are. Don't sugarcoat. <laughs> and for your sake, I'm glad I was not there so that you may believe. Wow. See, these people, they have been with Jesus for, for a long time. And Jesus still knew that in some things they don't believe. So it's a weakness for, for the disciples then. And it still remains a weakness to us. Sometimes we don't believe. And Jesus does, does not condemn us for not believing. You understand? He doesn't condemn us. So it's good to have some weaknesses and, uh, so that God can work with us. But let us go to him. Then Thomas, also known as Didemus, said to the rest of the disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. <laughs> Verse 17. On his arrival, Jesus found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Remember, those are the olden days. So the body has started already to de decompose. And Jesus is coming on the fourth day. Wow. For what use? Everybody was wondering for what use? Of course, the mourners. And also for the sisters, uh, uh, Mary and Martha. I think maybe if I was one of them, I could be asking, wow, why come so late? Why? Why should you? But let's, let's continue to read. Now Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem. Many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them in the loss of their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him. But Mary stayed at home. Chapter 12, we'll see uh, the two sisters, they are, they are characters. There is one that just stays, one who just rests. And there's another one who just cannot rest. She's very restless. <laughs> that was mother. So let's continue to read. When mother heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him. But Mary stayed at home. Lord, Mother said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask. You see, she has faith. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Mother answered, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? 
Yes, Lord, she replied. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, who is to come into the world. After she had said this, she went back and called her sister, Mary, aside. The teacher is here, she said, and is asking for you. When Mary heard this, she got up quickly and went to him. Now Jesus had not yet entered the village, but was still at a place where mother had met him. When the Jews who had been with Mary in the house comforting her noticed how quickly she got up and went out, they followed her, supposing she was going to the tomb to mourn there. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Look, Wow, look at different characters. What did mother do? Let's, let's see what mother did. <laughs> let's go back. <laughs> let's go back to mother. Let's go. Verse 21. Uh, look, verse 20. When mother heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him. But Mary stayed at home. Lord, mother said to, to Jesus, if you had not been here, my brother would not have died. Just look at it. That was mother, yes? <laughs> but look at the same, uh, her sister Mary, what she does. Verse 32. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was, and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. Where have you laid him? He asked. Come and see, Lord. They replied. Jesus wept. Verse 35. We always say is the shortest verse in the Bible. Jesus wept. Then the Jew said, See how he loved him. Because he, said he was weeping. But some of them said, could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Wow, that was harsh. Verse 38, Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. Jesus, once more deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance we are going to see it we are going to see it we are almost there take away the stone he said but lord said martha hey look at this mother <laughs> hey mother stubborn but the lord said martha the sister of the dead man by this time there is a bad under For he has been there four days. Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? Remember, Jesus had told her before. And she said, Lord, I believe. And now she's doubting. So they took away the stone. Then Jesus, then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me. But I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had, say, 
when he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet wrapped with stripes of linen and a cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, take off the grave clothes and let him go. Wow. How powerful is that? Look what happened in 45. Now they will start to plot to kill Jesus. <laughs> Therefore, many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and had seen what Jesus did, believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and said to them what Jesus had done. Then the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting of the Sanhedrin. What are we accomplishing? They asked. Here is this man performing many signs. If you let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him. And then the Romans will come and take away both our temple and our nation. You see, the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting of the Sanhedrin. I, will, I would think that that was at the house of uh, Caiaphas, the high priest. I did a video about it. By the end of this video, I'll put a link of it. So please watch the video that to, will pop up at the end of this video. Verse 49. Then one of them named Caiaphas. Yes, you see who was high priest that year, spoke up. You know nothing at all. You do not realize that it is better for you that one man die for the people than that the whole nation perish. Wow. He did not say this on his own, but as high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus would die for the Jewish nation, and not only for that nation, but also for the scattered children of God, to bring them together and make them one. So from that day on, they plotted to take his life. Please note, from that day on, when Jesus raised Lazarus, they started to plot to take his life. Verse 54, therefore, Jesus no longer moved about publicly among the people of Judea. Therefore, Jesus no longer moved about publicly among the people of Judea. Instead, he withdrew to a region near the wilderness, to a village called Ephraim, where he stayed with his disciples. Which is this village? We are going to check out one of these days on a video, okay? When it was almost time for the Jews pass over, many went up from the country to Jerusalem for their ceremonial cleansing. Before the Passover, they kept looking for Jesus. And as they stood in the temple courts, they asked one another, what do you think? Isn't he coming to the festival at all? But the chief priests and the Pharisees had given orders that anyone who found out where Jesus was should report it so that they might arrest him. Wow. What a, what a journey to travel during this time of Lent season. It's a blessing. John chapter 12. Jesus anointed at Bethany. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus lived, whom Jesus, whom Jesus 
had raised from the dead. Here, a dinner was given in Jesus' honor. Mother served, while Lazarus was among them reclining at the table with him. What is the meaning of reclining? Laying back in a relaxed position with the back supported. Wow. Mm, they were comfortable. Then Mary took about a pint of pure nard, an expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair. The house was filled with fragrance of the perfume. But one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, who was later to betray Jesus, objected. Why wasn't this perfume sold and money given to the poor? It was worth a year's wages. It was like, it was like 300 denarius. <laughs> he did not say this because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. As keeper of the money bag, he used to help himself to what was put into it. <laughs> so this tradition of people stealing from the offering box, church offering box, it started with the, their friend Judas. <laughs> uh, verse 7. Leave her alone, Jesus replied. It was intended that she should save this perfume for the day of my burial. He was always, you will always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. Meanwhile, a large crowd of Jews found out that Jesus was there and came. Not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. Why do they want to see him? So the chief priest made plans to kill Lazarus as well. Wow, that's harsh. For an account of him, Many of the Jews were going over to Jesus and believing in him. Wow. So we are here now at uh, Bethany. That is what happened. The last event of Jesus. Public, public events of Jesus happened at Bethany. And uh, because the next day, Verse 12 of chapter, John chapter 12, verse 12. Uh, the next day after the dinner at Bethany, that is when Jesus entered to Jerusalem from Bethphage, riding on donkey, and the people put uh, branches of palm, palm trees, palm branches, and went out to meet him shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the king of Israel. And that is the event of Palm Sunday. Hopefully, we'll go to Jerusalem for a video for this. <laughs> Shalom, guys. Veronica here. Welcome to Bethany, the hometown of... Lazarus, mother, and Mary, the sisters of Lazarus, the friends of Jesus. And I did a video before about the tube of Lazarus. Hello. And uh, <laughs> I hope that. You guys have seen it, watched about, about uh, watched it. Oh, I don't know even what I'm saying. One after one dollar, three one dollar, one dollar.
Lazarus tube spices and you remember one time Jesus came to visit his friends Mary and mother and told mother that mother <laughs> you are disturbed with so many things because mother was complaining that Mary was not coming to help her with the in the kitchen and Jesus said only one thing that is needed <laughs> just to be at the feet of the master now this is Lazarus too Listen to the perception of Martha. He said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. So that will be in the future. So in short, Martha doesn't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ that on that very moment, his brother could be alive once again. Move on. Jesus said, I am the resurrection When you're still alive at the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, those believers who are alive and remain and faithful will never ta taste physical death on the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. So Christ is giving two wonderful messages to all those who believe. Whether you die as a believer, you will rise again from the grave at His coming. If you remain alive at the coming of Christ, you will never experience physical death. 27. She said unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ. Christ means Messiah or Savior. And again, as I told you earlier, we can see again the wonderful phrase, the Son of God. You see, it's very important to believe in Christ. But it's more important to be precise, to believe in Jesus Christ as the Son of God. It is always mentioned in the New Testament in relation to the Lord Jesus Christ. From here, the Lord Jesus Christ, together with his disciples, they started the walk from here, going there in Jerusalem until they arrived in the old city of Jerusalem. But right now, let's study the, the life of Lazarus and together the account of the Lord Jesus Christ concerning his resurrection. So, uh, John chapter. 11 verse 1 and this time this moment when the Lord Jesus Christ knew that Lazarus is dead they were in Jericho together with his disciples so somebody went there in Jericho to inform the Lord Jesus Christ about the death of Lazarus and then verse uh, 5 now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus by the way it's a critical uh, text because some of the people, especially the atheists, who doesn't believe in the Lordship of the Lord Jesus Christ, they use this passage here, when it says, Now Jesus loved Martha. These people who are against the Lordship of Jesus Christ, they issued Jesus Christ having an affair with Martha. Okay, but it's not true. Jesus loved them, uh, you know, not same with those uh, love between the uh, other gender but a friendly love or brotherly love Lazarus is already here in the grave for four days so that's why uh, his body is decomposing so smelly na siguro si Lazarus na mapanoonin especially they are not embalming the body before in even right now the Jews they are not embalming the body to preserve the body so, and then, yung namang loob, yung blood is still there. Mas madaling madikompose, magulok, at mangamoy ang katawan ng isang tao. Now, Bethany was nigh unto Jerusalem about 15 for long. So, Beth, uh, Jerusalem is there. 
And many of the Jews came to Martha and Mary to, com to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha, as soon as he heard that Jesus was, was coming, went and met him. But Mary sat still in the house. Then said Mary, Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. Come out. I get sun for the Lazarus. After, was he still buried here or? What? You know Lazarus? Yes. He died twice. He or, died? He twice. died twice, yes. So, after he died the second time, was he buried here? I don't know. We ended up a biblical narratives. Okay. And we ended up a historical narratives. Ah. So, so this one is empty? Yeah. Okay. But, uh, if he, if he was buried here for the first time, mm -hmm. so the assumption is he will be buried again in this place. Okay. Because he was already buried in this cave. Mm -hmm. It's it's logical that you were already buried in the grave on the cave, and somebody will be buried here. Okay. Yes. Okay. Death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death. Where is thy strength? Where is thy victory? Yes. The glory of God shall be seen by those who put their faith in Jesus in time of greatest trial. You know what I'm saying? 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 <laughs> Death could not hold me. Death cannot hold us. Uh, I 
How much is it? The Jerusalem panorama. Okay. Master, the mustard seed. How much is this? Twenty shekel. Ten shekel. Twenty. What about the big one? <laughs> How much? Thirty shekel. Oh wow! He said, "What is the kingdom of God like? To what shall I compare it with? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and put." to his own garden it grew and became a large tree and the birds of the sky lodged at its branches mustard seeds Mustard seeds. Spice of life. No, no, my friend. Okay, that's my group. Yeah. Lord, uh, give me thirty. Thirty. Oh. I. 20. How much is this? This Master seed. We go to see the house of Mother Mary and Lazarus. I think the foundation of the Byzantine church. I did a video about this place and uh, I'll link it behind, uh, I'll link it at the end of this video so that you guys can watch it.
שלום סף. Show me where you read him. He has been here four days. This church was built in commemoration of the miracle of raising Lazarus, Lazarus from death. the dinner at the home of Simon the leper. Oh, wow. That is, this is the floor of the first church. Hey, Katul. Me, I'm from Kenya. Kenya. Yes. Kenya. Al Azaria. Bethany. You know, the Palm Sunday, Jesus entered to Jerusalem before he, say he was crucified. It started here at Bethany. On his way to Jerusalem, Bethany. the house of Simon the leper.
I love you guys from Bethany. Bethany. <laughs> You're so much loved by Veronica and thank you so much for loving Veronica. I'll see you again in a few days time. I love you.